So what I'm doing at the moment, I'm just wiring up the first panel. This is the autopilot panel, essentially. It's the main panel that's in front of me when I'm sitting in the cockpit. And what I'm doing at the moment is I'm just I'm wiring up the common ground connection to all the switches. No soldering as yet. And it's a bit painstaking but so far so good. Nothing particularly complicated about this. Just a bit fiddly. Joe, you should have gone for one second more. Oh, no. Says Paul, you've got in with one second to go. Taking a curtain call, starting now. Well, it's the first round of soldering done. I've been working on the main autopilot panel, and I've now soldered in all the common ground connections. So the next thing to do is to wire up the uh, signal connections I suppose you'd call it that's uh, basically one lead from each switch has got to come out uh, and then of course we take one one ground from this common bus and uh, so the next job really in doing that is to dig out the, one of the 25 way D connectors uh, or two, I have to count up how many, <laughs> how many um, connections there are on there and basically solder one wire from each of these onto one pin of that connector. The other thing I've done is I've um, wired in these and, and mounted these uh, USB speakers which you probably can't see in great detail from there but got the original circuit board in there uh, the speakers are mounted underneath the grills that I've cut in the acrylic front sheet. I've also put a potentiometer on the front side to control the volume. Again that was on the original board. Well the original potentiometer was this tiny little round thing which stuck out the back of the speakers. I've not reused that because there was no easy way to mount that. But thankfully that, that was connected up by a fairly convenient cable. And so I've just soldered that up to a, a new potentiometer, a rotary one that, that mounts easily through the panel. And that, that works fine. I, I've got two rotary controls on here and I want to, I just want, I'm just really conscious that when I get to the other end of this um, cable and have to plug the leads into the Bodner board, I'm not going to have any colour coding and I, I need to be able to distinguish A, the ground, well I've got colour coding for the ground, I've got some blue blue wire that I'm going to use for the ground so that connection is easily distinguished but um, the main thing is to distinguish the two rotary encoders from the other switches which are all just simple on off switches. Then the real you know the practical challenge is it's actually about the backlighting it's about not getting in the way of the backlighting with all these wires coming out uh, you know, the, the worst case scenario is I've got big thick shadows falling across some of the some of the um, text and graphics that need to be backlit. So I need to try and find some way of minimising that. So it's kind of spreading the wires out or something. I, don't, I haven't really figured that out yet. Um, also, obviously, in the generation of the light, obviously the more diffuse it can be and uniform and omnidirectional shall we say the better that coverage will be well the soldering for the first panel is well I was about to say it's complete it's um, it's a very specific stage I could choose that uh, this was complete these wires are all now soldered on to the switches and I could, in theory, just strip the ends of these and feed them straight into the Bodner board. Although the way I've cut the, the length I've cut these to, that would be impractical, <laughs> given where I've mounted the Bodner boards. Um, but I'm not planning to do that, and the reason for that 
is, as I've stated elsewhere, I want this panel to be detachable so I can take it out and work on it and fiddle with it. So I've got to basically do all those solder connections over again onto one of these. This is a standard 25-way D-type RS-232 style connector. Um, I haven't tried soldering onto this yet. It's a bit cramped, but they've got these little buckets. Uh, should be should be doable. And uh, these will all be bundled up, and the, the cable will come off on a bit of um, well, the resulting cable, which will be these all braided together in some way, will come off probably about five or six inches uh, in a little tail. Um, and, and this obviously sits in a, you know, a, a little shield like this. You're familiar with these if you've, uh, well, you might not be familiar with these. They're not very common these days, RS-232 connectors. <laughs> but, uh, what else? I counted up the switches on this board and annoyingly there's um, exactly 25 switches. That's when you figure in the um, things like the the rotor. One of the rotary, well, there's two rotaries on here. One of those has got a push switch in the centre as well. That takes it to 25. Now the problem with that is I need 25 plus a ground. So my uh, my first thought was to actually wire up two plugs and perhaps make the soldering more straightforward by soldering onto every second contact or something. Could do that, but. Uh, I ought to be able to cheat by soldering the ground wire onto this chassis at each end. Because uh, the chassis, when you uh, make these two connectors, there's a male and a female, the chassis obviously touch. So as long as I can solder onto that, I don't know if that's nickel plated or something, then, then that should work quite conveniently. The bulb under Charles. Anything to do with building a more inclusive Britain, I'm sure will still be part of his role as monarch. That's what he's made his own. Talking much more overtly about climate change or deforestation or genetic modification, whatever it might be. Don't for a moment think that that's the line he will continue with as king. I don't see how he could. Nobody. So there it is, the first panel complete and wired up. The only thing left to do on this really is to basically test each of the switches end to end and then of course I've got to wire up the other side of that 25 way D type connector and that'll be wired up to the, the long wires which will go from here round the corner and into the Bodner board and then we should be able to fly it <laughs> 